What is up everybody, it's your boy Nick, coming at you with another quick Pokemon TCG card opening today. I am bringing you a quick six of Vivid Voltage. So Vivid Voltage is not what I would really consider like that uh, old of a set, right? It came out last November, uh, like November 15th or something like that. So it's only a few months old. Still pretty hard to find uh, as with all Pokemon cards right now. Um, but the reason I kind of wanted to highlight Vivid Voltage today um, is for a couple reasons. The first just being that it's kind of a cool set. It's the first set that brought in Amazing Rares into um, the TCG, at least in the US. Um, secondly, it's got a really sweet chase card. Obviously, the Chunk Chew uh, is a great card. The Full Art Pikachu is any Pikachu in that set really is doing pretty well. Um, I guess the Pikachu V is whatever, but um, for me, really personally, it's um, it's about a different chase card today. There's, I believe, actually two that I'm still missing. Um, I am still in search of some amazing rares, uh, specifically the Rayquaza and the Zamazenta. I don't believe I have either of them. I pulled the other four. You've seen a lot of those on the channel. I'll likely link them in a card above with my quote unquote vivid voltage openings. Um, with the new release of Shining Fates and my luck with that, getting all three of the amazing rares very quickly in there. It's making me really antsy to get back into Vivid to try to get those last two that I'm missing just because I want to have the complete set and I want to continue having the complete set as cards continue to be released. Um, I know that with Battle Styles, they are not, there are not any um, amazing rares included in that set. Um, which is fine. Uh, I mean, I wish there were, but there aren't. Um, and I, I think some future sets will include Amazing Rares, but um, it's not really, I'm not really sure right now. I think they're releasing Cold Chilling Rains in Japan in the next like month or so. Um, water Energy, so we'll see if that brings back some Amazing Rares. There's obviously quite a few um, legendary slash mythical Pokemon that would be just awesome to see. Those cards are fantastic. I love the way that they pop. Hence, uh, you know, I think the popularity with them is, is because of how cool they are, obviously. They're pretty valuable too, which makes the set a little bit nicer. We got a Reverse Beauty and a Ninjask for the rare. So yeah, that's kind of, I just wanted to highlight, I guess, a little bit of the, uh, the amazing rares today because uh, I do think that they are pretty darn cool. Sorry, I'm trying to mess with my light here. Every time I try to get fancy, there we go. Um, just because I think that they are cool, I think they're a pretty interesting card and a great addition to the TCG. If you've heard me um, talk about them before, you're probably like, all right, Nate, stop, uh, stop talking about it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. They're just, uh, I think they're the most exciting thing to happen to Pokemon in a really, really long time. So, Fighting Energy, Gar Galvantula, Swellow, League Staff. There's actually still quite a few cards. This, I think Voltage isn't the biggest set. There's actually still quite a few cards in the set that I am looking to add to my binder, Shiny Choodle, into a Metagross. Um, so, also, so I was kind of excited to get into that. I've been hoarding single packs and a couple ETVs for Vivid for a while, just waiting, I guess waiting for the good a good time to open them. I don't know how to really explain that. Sometimes I do that where I just, you know, buy uh, a bunch of cards when I see them and then kind of sit on them to uh, open them at a later date. Part of that is just recording. I like recording my openings. AVR, always be recording. Um, I kind of have a fear of opening something now and then um, it not being on video, like if I get something really cool. Beldum, Chabtot into a Aegislash V, ultra rare, very nice. I already have that full set of the Aegislash. Um, I think we got in our booster box opening. It was actually pretty nice. Um, I am a huge fan of Aegislash. Um, there's actually a lot of, I mean, just a bunch of cards in this set that I'm a huge fan of. They really went pretty uh, Johto heavy, which is one of my, I mean, Gen 2 is like probably my favorite. Um, I at least, thinking back to childhood, it's the game that I put the most hours into probably. Mud Bray, hey. Slugma, Mount Doom, Crying Whismer, Execute, Manetric, and a Charizard, very nice. Always a good opening when you pull a Charizard. 
Um, I actually think, surprisingly, even though it's a non-hollow version, um, that the card value for that Charizard actually is still pretty high, which just kind of tells you. I mean, it's a it's a really playable card. It's like pretty strong in the TCG. My brother has a uh, Leon's Charizard deck, which is just it can pump out damage really quick if you uh, if you get it rolling. But uh, yeah, it's actually held its value pretty well. If you get the um, reverse rare for it, um, I think that's like seven eight bucks, maybe even a little higher for just the raw card, which is pretty good for just you know what is otherwise a uh, a normal pull. Uh, Rock rub. Wismer, Exadrill into, ooh, Colossal VMAX. There we go, let's take a look at you. I don't believe, I, I, I think I might have this card as well, but it's still a fantastic card. Um, a lot of the VMAXs, I'm not a huge fan of the kind of like, how dark the image is. You know, they're, I think they're supposed to be in a, uh, in a, like a Dynamax cave, and that's kind of like why they're so dark. Um, I feel like for Colossal, though, it's one of the few that it actually works out in its, to its advantage. I think it looks cooler in that darker, um, in that darker color. Um, looks like centering's off a little bit from left to right, which is to be expected with the Vivid Voltage print runs. Um, I've kind of mentioned that on the channel before that, uh, Vivid Voltage kind of seemed like it was maybe printed a little quickly, um, but there's quite a few in the Sword and Shield um, era that uh, you know, seem to have some pretty um, like less than less than great uh, printing. So um, still haven't pulled, haven't seen an Amazing Rare yet, but uh, the best part about them is they can be in any pack, even a green card pack. So you always have to be vigilant. Dust Skull, Voltorb. We got a little, hopefully a little last pack magic here on this amazing rare. Drillbur, Clefairy. Ooh, a Reverse Shaman into a Shiftry. So that's it for my pack opening today. Like I said, just wanted to open six packs really quick. Try to feature the amazing rares. That's going to be my chase cards. I'll put those, you'll likely see those in the thumbnail and uh, hopefully we'll get after those shortly if I'm able to pull a Pikachu along the way well I mean that just makes it all the sweeter so uh, appreciate you guys watching um, please subscribe if you're new here and um, if you have of those six amazing rares if you have a favorite of them let me know down in the comments below I'd really like to know what uh, people's favorites are I'm assuming most people are like on the Rayquaza train because I am too. He's one. Of, he's probably my favorite legendary Pokemon of all time. So, um, but let, like I said, let me know in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you have a good day.